Ever wondered why the keto diet has taken the world by storm? Well, it's no ordinary diet. It's a trendy, low-carb, high-fat eating plan that promises weight loss and potential health benefits. Imagine trading your regular bread and pasta for avocados and olive oil, and your body in return burns fat for energy instead of glucose. Intriguing, isn't it? But that's not all. This diet also includes a moderate intake of protein to maintain muscle mass and satiety. So, you're not left feeling hungry or deprived. It's all about making smart choices like swapping grains and sugary drinks for low-carb veggies and healthy fats. But hey, it's not a walk in the park. Like any other diet, it requires careful planning, tracking, and even some initial challenges. But the end results? Well, they might just be worth it. Stay tuned to unveil the keto diet mystery. So what exactly is this keto diet? Let's demystify it, shall we? The keto diet is a bit of a renegade in the world of diets. It defies the low-fat, high-carb mantra that's been peddled for decades. Instead, it's all about low carbs, high fats, and a moderate amount of protein. Now you might be wondering, how does that work? Well, the keto diet aims to drastically reduce your carbohydrate intake, usually to below 50 grams per day. This forces your body to switch gears and start burning fat for energy instead of glucose. It's a bit like turning your body into a fat-burning furnace. Sounds pretty cool, right? But it's not just about cutting carbs. The keto diet also encourages replacing those carbs with healthy fats. We're talking about good fats here, like avocados, nuts, seeds, olive oil, and fatty fish. These fats become your body's new source of fuel, providing sustained energy throughout the day. And let's not forget about protein. It's crucial to maintain muscle mass and keep you feeling full and satisfied. On the keto diet, protein intake remains moderate. So, you won't be chowing down on steaks at every meal, but you won't be going hungry either. All this talk about food might make you think the keto diet is all about what you eat, but it's also about how your body processes what you eat. By drastically reducing carbs and increasing fats, your body enters a metabolic state called ketosis, where it becomes super efficient at burning fat for energy. So, to recap, the keto diet is a low-carb, high-fat, and moderate protein eating plan that flips the traditional diet on its head. It forces your body to burn fat for energy, promotes healthy fat intake, and maintains a moderate protein consumption. Sounds intriguing, doesn't it? But how do you do it? Well, stay tuned for the next segment, where we'll break down how to execute the keto diet in your daily life. Ready to dive into the keto universe? Here's how. Let's start with food choices. Imagine a world where carbs are the villains and fats are the superheroes. In this keto universe, your plate is filled with low-carb vegetables like spinach, zucchini, and broccoli. Healthy fats such as avocados, nuts, seeds, olive oil, and fatty fish are your new best friends. And let's not forget a moderate amount of protein, because our muscles love them. Now, I know what you're thinking, where do grains, starchy vegetables, sugary drinks, and most fruits fit in? Well, unfortunately, they're on the keto's most wanted list. Yes, even that innocent-looking banana. But don't worry, your taste buds will soon start appreciating the rich, creamy goodness of avocados and the crunchy delight of almonds. Moving on to tracking macros. It's like being a detective on your own food journey. In the keto diet, you're aiming for specific ratios of carbs, fat, and protein. Usually it's about 70% fats, 25% protein, and just 5% carbs. Yes, you heard that right, only 5% carbs. So you better love your fats and proteins. Next, we have ketone monitoring. It's like your personal fat burning indicator. When your body is in a state of ketosis, it's burning fat for fuel instead of glucose. So testing for ketones in your blood or urine can tell you if you're on the right track. You can find ketone monitoring kits in most health stores or online. And remember, this isn't a one-size-fits-all situation. You may need to tweak these guidelines to suit your body's needs and preferences. But wait, there's more to consider. Before you jump on the keto bandwagon, consider these points. The keto diet is like a marathon, not a sprint. Right at the start, you might encounter some initial challenges. As your body adapts to its new fuel source, it might throw a bit of a tantrum, kind of like a toddler missing their favorite candy. This can lead to temporary side effects like fatigue, headaches, or what's endearingly called the keto flu. So it's best to ease into it and be prepared for a few hiccups along the way. Now let's talk about nutritional needs. Just because you're cutting carbs doesn't mean you can ignore your other nutritional buddies. Vitamins, minerals, fiber, these are all still key players on your health team. So careful planning is crucial. Think of it like planning a road trip. You wouldn't just jump in the car and hope for the best, right? You'd map out your route, pack some snacks, maybe even create a killer playlist. 
In the same way planning your meals can ensure you're meeting your nutritional needs while keeping carbs on the down low. Last, but certainly not least, we have long-term sustainability. You see, while the keto diet can show promising results, the jury's still out on its effectiveness and safety for long-term weight management and overall health. So it's important to continually monitor your progress and listen to your body. Like a good detective, keep an eye out for clues that something might need tweaking. Remember, the keto diet isn't a one-size-fits-all solution, it's more like a bespoke suit, needing adjustments to fit just right. And it's always a good idea to consult a healthcare professional before diving into the deep end especially if you have any pre-existing health conditions. In the end, the goal isn't just to lose weight but to create a sustainable plan that you can enjoy long term. Because let's face it, no one wants to live on a diet that feels like punishment, right? Now that you're aware of the considerations let's wrap up. Equipped with all this keto knowledge what's next? Now that we've broken down the keto diet from what it is, how to do it, and things to consider, Let's wrap up this dietary journey. First things first, never jump into the keto bandwagon without a seatbelt. And by seatbelt, we mean the advice of a healthcare professional. It's important to consult them before starting the keto diet, especially if you have any pre-existing health conditions. Remember, safety first, folks. Now let's talk about food. You might have noticed that the keto diet isn't a big fan of processed junk. So put down that bag of chips and pick up an avocado instead. Focus on whole, unprocessed foods. This isn't just about losing weight, it's about nourishing your body with the good stuff. Think of the keto diet as a long road trip. You wouldn't want to start without a map, would you? That's where a sustainable plan comes in. Plot your journey by planning your meals ahead. Remember, this isn't a crash diet, it's a lifestyle change. So make sure your plan is something you can enjoy in the long run. And finally, keep an eye on the road, monitor your progress and listen to what your body is telling you. If you're feeling great and seeing results, fantastic! keep going. But if something doesn't feel right, don't be afraid to make adjustments. You might need to tweak your macronutrient ratios or introduce more variety in your food choices. Remember, the keto diet is not a one-size-fits-all solution. It's a tool that you can customize to fit your unique needs and goals. What works for others might not work for you and that's perfectly okay. The important thing is to find your optimal keto approach, one that makes you feel good and helps you achieve your health goals. And there you have it folks. That's the keto diet in a nutshell. Whether you're planning to start this journey or just curious about it, we hope this guide has been helpful. Keep exploring, stay curious, and remember, your health is your wealth. Feeling enlightened about the keto diet? We've journeyed through its low-carb, high-fat landscape and learned how it transforms our bodies into fat-burning machines. We've discovered what to eat and what to avoid, while keeping our plates colorful with low-carb veggies, healthy fats, and moderate proteins. We've learned that tracking macros and monitoring ketones can guide our keto journey, and that initial challenges like the infamous keto flu are just temporary speed bumps on the road to potential weight loss and health benefits. But remember, it's not a one-size-fits-all plan. Your keto journey should always consider your nutritional needs and personal health conditions. Consult a healthcare professional before starting and focus on whole, unprocessed foods to create a sustainable plan you can enjoy long-term. Any questions? feel free to drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more enlightening content on diets and health. Until next time, keep it keto!